Let's talk about Dark Crystals. Dark Crystals are the free currency you use to acquire pulls in this game. You can get them from the story, the exploration, doing achievements, and the list goes on. But in this video, we are only going over all the free regenerative sources of Dark Crystals in Tower of Fantasy to show you guys how much you can possibly get as a complete free to play. Let's start off with the weeklies. There's a 7 day sign in bonus that refreshes when you claim the final reward that contains 20 Dark Crystals. Then there's the weekly activity bar that gives you a total of 350 Dark Crystals every week. Finally, there's the crew system that will give you Dark Crystals every week based on your class and the crew, starting at 100 for crewmates, 120 for cadres, and 150 for deputies and the commander. There's also this box that you get along with your Dark Crystals that can contain anywhere from coins to up to 500 Dark Crystals randomly. Since it's random, I won't include it into the tally, just know that it is there. Also, in the crew system, you can claim another 50 Dark Crystals here if your crew is active in completing crew tasks every week for honor points. All these total up to 520 Dark Crystals for a regular crewmate or 570 for a deputy or commander every week. We multiply this number by 4 to get the monthly maximum rate of 2,280. Now, we talk about the monthly generation. First off, there's Apex League which is the 1v1 balanced PvP ladder. If you absolutely grind it out all the way to Grand Marshal every season, which lasts a month, you will get 500 Dark Crystals, 2 cosmetics, and the PvP exclusive Dust Wheeler mount as a reward. Subsequent seasons, if you get the same cosmetics and mount, they will be instead converted into gold and 100 Dark Crystals each, for a total of 800 potential Dark Crystals. If you hate PvP but still want the rewards, you can just play one match every season and claim the 100 Dark Crystal bare minimum. Then, there's the free tier on the Battle Pass. In here, you can claim 200 Dark Crystals every season, which lasts about 42 days, according to the Chinese servers. We round this to 150 Dark Crystals per month for the sake of calculations. Finally, we look at future content from the Chinese version. Do note that information provided beyond this point are subject to change when we get them globally. There's the Battle Royale that lasts 3 months per season, in which you can get up to 1500 Dark Crystals for getting to the highest rank. We divide this number by 3 to get the monthly rate of 500. Again, if you hate PvP content, you can just play one match per season to claim the bare minimum 800 Dark Crystals. All in all, this comes out to 3730 Dark Crystals that you are guaranteed to get per month for absolutely free which comes to about 24 pulls per month on top of the free pulls that you get from participating in time limited events. And this is also not including the 300 crystals you get every server maintenance which happens about 3 times per month on average and all the promotions that you should get every time there is a major patch and update. Besides the in-game things, there is also streamer viewer rewards and return player and new player referral bonuses that happen from time to time that can boost your rates even higher. And right at the end, let me show you guys some calculations done by a very well-known CN free-to-play content creator, showing that if you play the Chinese servers right now, you could expect to get over 44,000 Dark Crystals worth of limited banner pulls in the first month. So all in all, this game is very generous on the Dark Crystals, and you can get very far in this game as a complete free-to-play player. So, if you found this information helpful, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more, and let me know in the comments below if you plan to spend on this game or just be a free to play. Also, please don't.